Hey guys, it is Kristen Shelby from Indie Hip Chick and we are back with a makeup haul. So I kind of went a little overboard on the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. So I figured I might as well just come on here and show you guys all the cool new stuff I bought cause I'm a makeup addict and I have a problem. So I might as well make some productive use out of it and make it into a video. Alrighty, let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with my primers. I'm gonna forewarn you, I have quite a few of them, so bear with me. So first up is the Becca Ever Matte Pore Perfecting Primer. So if you know me or you've watched our videos, especially our early on videos, you will know that this is like my go-to, holy grail, favorite primer of all time. And I was running kinda low and it was on the 21 Days of Beauty, so why not go ahead and stock up and get it for half off, you know? Um, but yeah, I love this primer because one, my skin gets pretty oily like right in the center of my face. Um, so it is wonderful at giving me kind of a matte canvas to start with before applying my foundation. I love that. Um, I feel like it does a really good job of filling in my pores as well so that especially like in the oily areas, my pores can get a little out of control sometimes. Um, so it does a good job of filling them in and just making my foundation look smooth and flawless um, and just kind of helping it last all day. So I love this primer. I will never say any bad word about this primer. It is my favorite. I would definitely recommend it. Next up, I have the Too Faced Hangover Primer. And what's funny is I actually, for some reason, thought I was getting the Hangover Spray. I don't know why, but in my head, I was certain that I had the spray and it was a primer, but whatever. Um, so basically this one is a more hydrating primer. So I got this because I have a lot of mattifying foundations, but sometimes I feel like the really, really matte, matte foundations are a bit much with the Becca primer. Like matte on top of matte, sometimes I get left feeling kind of too dry and then my skin kind of overworks and overproduces the oil. So for those foundations that I feel like are super, super mattifying, then I'll try to go in with like a more hydrating primer or something that's just a little less mattifying, um, if that makes sense to kind of give me a little bit of balance and leave me not looking super dry, not looking super oily, but just a nice, you know, medium in the middle type of thing. Um, so I actually use this today. And I really like it. I think my makeup looks really good. And uh, yeah, so far so good. This is my first time actually trying it. I've heard nothing but good things about it. So when I saw it on the 21 Days of Beauty, I was like, well, might as well stop on in and pick it up. Cause you know, why not? Okay, next is the NYX Hydra Touch Oil Primer. So you may have already seen this one on our channel. I used this um, in our Can't Stop, Won't Stop review video. So this is a different type of primer for me. I've never had an oil primer before. And I've only used it the once when I used it in the Can't Stop, Won't Stop video. And I didn't really like it that much with the Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. I thought with this primer, um, it would be really hydrating, especially since it's an oil primer. Um, and it would help the can't stop won't stop not be as mattifying and as drying But it actually left me feeling pretty dry after using that so I was kind of surprised about that um, And I still want to kind of try to use it with some other Foundations and see you know how it pairs with other things maybe a less matte foundation or you know a more natural or dewy kind of foundation um, Just to kind of see how it works because with the can't stop won't stop and eh, I wasn't loving it, but you know, we're here, so I already have it. <laughs> Next up, I have the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. So this is a part of the Photo Finish line, which I really, really like. I've gotten, I think, samples of all of the Photo Finish line from Smashbox in my Sephora Play Boxes, and this was one that I really liked. So like I said, I get like really oily in this area of my face and my pores there sometimes can be really big and you know that's not cute we want a nice smooth surface we don't want to have a bunch of uneven texture and a bunch of pores visible so um, i actually used that primer yesterday and i really really like it it is i feel like it helps even out the canvas smooths away all my pores 
and really, really photographs well. I feel like my foundation sits on it really well um, and it has a very smooth texture to it. So when I'm putting it on my face, it's, I don't know if it's a silicone primer or what, but it has a very smooth texture to it that I just feel like my face is totally, you know, like an even surface. It's not, I don't feel a bunch of texture on my face if that makes sense when I use that primer. So I would recommend that one as well. It's, it's a good one. And next I have the NYX Angel Veil Primer. This is another skin perfecting primer and I like it. I feel like it is just like a natural primer. It's not mattifying, it doesn't feel very dewy. It's just like kind of somewhere in the middle, a natural finish kind of primer. It's not gonna like dry you out. It's not gonna make you produce a whole bunch of oil or anything like that. Um, it's just a nice smooth one. And I feel like NYX is a good line if you don't necessarily wanna spend like the Becca type money or the prestige brand type of money. Um, <clears throat> but you still want something that's good. I feel like it's a good in between because I mean their stuff isn't gonna be five dollars But it's also not gonna be 50. So I think this was Somewhere like 13 or 15 somewhere in there um, So it's kind of a good in between if you don't want to spend 40 bucks for a primer But you want something that's still gonna have some quality to it and a decent benefit I feel like this is a decent one to go with and just NYX in general. I feel like their line that's kind of their thing. So that is it for my primers. Next up, I will go into foundation. So I have the Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. If you follow our channel, you see that I've already tried this foundation. This is actually a different color than the one that I used in the video at first. So I got the wrong color at first, it was too light. And Crystal had this color, it's nutmeg. Um, so I used that over it. Uh, so I went ahead and got this one because I felt like it was a better match for me I'm actually wearing it today, and I feel like it looks really good and like I said I used the um, Hangover primer over it, and it feels great if you watch the video you'll know That day I felt like my face was so dry like All over it was just dry. I used two different primers I had the can't stop won't stop primer and then that oil primer that I just showed you and my face just felt so dry It was uncomfortable it looked beautiful and I loved the way that it looked, but it just didn't feel like something I could wear all day. And I was just like, eh, no. But <laughs> with the Hangover Primer, I definitely like this foundation a lot more. And it goes for about 15 bucks. So again, NYX, if you don't want to pay, you know, 40 or $50 for the more high-end foundations, but you also don't want just your run-of-the-mill drugstore brand, you want something that's like a little more quality, more coverage, a wider range of colors. So I think this has 45 colors in the line, I believe. Um, and Alyssa Ashley was in partner with it. Shout out to you, Alyssa. We love you at Indie Object. Um, but yeah, it has, you know, a wide range of colors and is better quality than, you know, the lower end drugstore, drugstore kind of brand. So I would definitely say if you're somewhere in that middle, you're trying to be beat on a budget, then I would give this one a shot. But with a hydrating primer, unless your skin is just totally ultra dewy and you can never be dry ever. But if you're normal or dry, definitely get a hydrating primer, use a serum, use a moisturizer, prep your skin for what it's about to get. But I wore it yesterday too and it actually lasted pretty much the whole day. I had on makeup from about maybe 11 a.m. to about 3, 3 a.m. And it still looks pretty good. I blotted a few times throughout the day, but other than that, I mean, it stayed in place. I still had makeup on my face when I got home, surprisingly. Um, so yeah, it's supposed to last for 24 hours. So I didn't quite hit 24, but came probably as close as I'll ever come. And uh, I would say it lasted pretty well. All right, and next up, I have the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So I have actually tried this before. Um, I got a sample of it in a Sephora play box, so I knew that I liked it and I saw it was on the 21 Days of Beauty, so why not? Might as well go out and get it. Um, I am wearing this today too. Yes, I'm wearing this today too, I had to think about it. Um, and one thing about this 
is compared to the locket setting mist that I usually use, um, it's very wet. Like there is a lot more spray that comes at you per pump. And sometimes I get a little excited with the setting spray, which you probably know if you've seen our videos. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a lot, a lot more product comes out at you. It's a spray. It's not just a little mist like the Locket one. So something to keep in mind, but I like it. I feel like it gives me a good set. It's not too drying because sometimes I feel like, especially mattifying setting sprays or setting sprays that are supposed to make your makeup more long wearing, sometimes can make me feel kind of dry after it like dries down. Um, and then I have to wait for like my natural oils to start coming through to make it feel more comfortable. But I haven't gotten that with this one um, since I've tried it. So there's that. Next up, I have the Tardiest Lash Paint Mascara. And this I haven't actually tried yet. I'm excited to try it because I've tried a couple of different Tarte mascaras, I believe, throughout the years um, with Ipsy and Playbox and Sephora classes and things like that. Um, but I just needed a new mascara and it was a part of the 21 Days of Beauty, so I figured I might as well just give it a shot. Alrighty, so these next products I'm really excited about because I'm a child and I just love glitter. Um, but I got the Cover FX Glitter Drops. So I don't know if you've seen these in stores, but Cover FX has the custom enhancer drops that are essentially like a liquid highlighter that you can use. Um, but then they also have these glitter drops, which I'm really, really, really excited about. So I will swatch these for you so you can just see the full extent of their awesomeness. So this one is the blue one and it's called Lunar. And I'll just put a little drop because a little goes a very, very, very long way. It like kind of changes depending on the way you go. Sometimes it looks blue, sometimes it kind of looks purple. It's like a kind of duochrome effect. I'm just rubbing it a little more. And yeah, it gives you a nice, nice glittery look. And then I also got Aurora, which is this, like, it looks really white in the tube, but it's actually pink. And as you can see, like when you actually put it on, it comes off really kinky, which I really, really like. And these can like, I'll just mix them together just because but a little goes a long long way like I that was just one drop and the whole back of my hand is just a shimmery shimmery glittery goodness um, so I'm really excited to use these not 100% sure what look I'm gonna use it for but they were on sale and I love glitter and I was just like I don't care I'll figure it out I don't know what I'm gonna use them for yet but I don't know something but you'll see them at some point on this channel pretty soon okay next up is a product i'm really really excited about it is the juvia's place warrior palette and if you don't know juvia's place is now available in ulta which is a huge thing they're a black owned brand um, if again, if you watched our videos, you've seen us use Juvia's Place time and time again. We first found out about them um, when we were doing the black owned makeup brand bomb challenge. Um, and I've loved them ever since. Their products are always super pigmented, they're awesome. The pans are huge, as you can see. Like, oops, these pans are ridiculous. Like, they're so big, you get so much product, they're beautiful. And of course, I always go for like the neutral browns and goldens and all that jazz. So this palette has been calling my name for some time now. When I found out that they were gonna be in stores in Ulta, I had to go buy it. So I'm super excited about that one. Congratulations to Juvia's Place. They've been online only for so long. So to actually be able to go in stores and see their little ink cap and see all their products, it just makes me so happy. Um, especially for such a big brand like Ulta to welcome them into the store. I don't know, it just makes me feel good and inclusive and like, okay, our black brands are shining and really being recognized for the great quality that they are. So shout out to you, Juvia. I'm proud of you guys. Okay, and next, I got another eyeshadow palette because I have a problem. 
Actually, it was Crystal. She peer pressured me into buying another one. I wasn't gonna, I was just gonna get the Juvia's Place one and go home, but she peer pressured me. So here we are. And this is the Morphe 35V palette. The Stunning Vibes palette. Um, I haven't actually used this one yet. I just got it like a few days ago. Um, so I haven't used it yet, but I am very, very excited to use it. I really, really, really love these like purples over here. And then this corner is all totally me, like totally colors that I would always go for. Um, this is my second Morphe palette. I have the 35F, which I'm actually wearing on my eyes now. And uh, that one was pretty much all shimmery shades. So I like that this one has a lot more matte colors than that one. Cause there was only one row of matte colors in the 35F. So I like that there's more matte colors in this one and that maybe I'll be able to use this palette as a standalone and not as like a companion palette with something else that I can actually use, you know, my crease color, my transition color, my lid color, everything all in one from this one palette. So that's it for the Ulta stuff, but I have a couple other things that I bought from some other places. So I figured I might as well just go ahead and include them in this video too, cause why not, you know? If you know me, you know I love the Beauty Blender Cleanser Solid. The It usually comes in like a little round thing about this big. And it's like a little bar of soap. It gets everything out of my makeup brushes. It cleans them like a dream. Makes me so happy. But then Crystal and I went to Sephora and we found this. And it is the Pro Solid or Solid Pro, whatever. It is huge. So it's like five times bigger than the other one. It's huge. I feel like it's gonna last forever. Cause while I love the other one, it just didn't really last that long for me just because I have a ton of brushes that I need to clean all the time. Um, but yeah, so it's a huge, huge soap and it comes with this little butterfly, uh, I don't know, a little pad thing that you use to rub the brushes on to help get the makeup out of them. Um, but yeah, they come together in the little kit and I haven't used it yet because I still have some of my small ones, but I'm so excited because it's so big and I feel like it's gonna last forever, it makes me happy. Next from Sephora, I got the Fenty Beauty Tapered Blending Brush, which I'm just gonna show you guys the box because I used it today to do my makeup so it's dirty and I don't want to show a dirty brush so <laughs> I'll just show you guys the box but this brush I love so I this is the first Fenty brush that I've ever bought and I have a thing about buying individual brushes I don't know I feel like I would just rather buy a set but I saw it and I was like eh might as well so I got it and it is so soft. Oh my gosh, it's so soft and it's bigger than most of my blending brushes and I feel like it gives me the smoothest transitions and the softest blends ever. I love this brush. I would definitely recommend it. It's worth the, I think it's $24, give or take, somewhere in there. Um, but yeah, I'd totally say it's worth it. I love it. Brianna can do no wrong when it comes to Fenty and that's just it. She just can do no wrong, she's great. So <laughs> I have a couple of other like random one-off products that I bought just for different things I'm working on. So first up, I have the Inglot Gel Liner in the color 94. And I actually heard about this from a girl on Instagram called Beauty by Melissa. Um, she's a makeup artist and she does the most amazing cut creases. Like they're so pretty. She always uses just beautiful glitters and it's just great. Um, and she uses this and she, she uses this to cut the crease and doesn't use like any glitter glue or mixing mediums or anything like that. Just packs it right on top of this. So I was like, well, I have to try it. And I actually tried it um, today, not on this look, but just earlier I was messing around with it. And it's so soft. I didn't expect it to be this soft at all. Like when I put the brush in it, it was just so soft, so creamy, so easy to pick up and use. Um, I feel like it'll be great in the future for cutting my creases because it just goes on so easily. It's not like tugging or pulling or skipping or anything like that, which sometimes you can get with like, thicker consistency products or drier products. Um, but I feel like I'm not gonna have that problem with this, which I'm really excited about. And to go along with that, I bought this concealer brush from Crown Brushes. It is the C469 brush. And um, 
Beauty by Melissa also recommended this. She uses this all the time. It's like her holy grail brush. And it's like $3.95, which you can't beat. So I bought four of them because I still had to pay for shipping. So I figured why not? Might as well make it make sense and spend more on products than I am on shipping. Um, and then she also has a coupon code, which I think is also Beauty by Melissa, but I'll have to verify that. I'll put it in the description below. But um, yeah, and I like this brush. It's very thin and it was very easy to use the first time I tried it. So I would say for $3.95, that is insane. And for it to work as well as it does, it's just great. And I have four of them now, so <laughs> I'm excited with those. And my last items that I have are these CoverGirl Queen Collection lipsticks. And I bought three of them. I actually bought them today because I'm a slacker and I forgot the lipstick that I was gonna wear at home <laughs> if we were about to film. So we had to go to the store and I just was like, oh, okay, I'll buy some lipsticks, whatever. So I'll show you the colors here. So this one is Rosy Tomorrows, which this is actually what I'm wearing right now. So this is Rosy Tomorrows. It's just like a nice mauve rosy kind of color, which I think is really pretty. They have kind of a weird smell to them though. They're not scented, but maybe because they're not scented, they kind of smell like, I don't know, like they've been in a factory or something. I don't know. They're just. I don't know, it's kind of weird, but that's just something I noticed. Then the next one is Regal Raspberry, which is a little bit darker along the same lines, but a darker kind of raspberry tone. And then the last one is called Fine Wine, which you know, fall's coming, this is gonna be a color that I love. I love dark purples and dark reds in the fall. All the vampy lip colors make me super happy. So I saw this one and I'm like, oh, might as well. So yeah, those were just kind of on a whim and I think they're good purchases. I'm really excited about all three of them. But yeah, that is it for my makeup haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, give me a big thumbs up hit that like button, let us know you liked it. Um, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications. We've got a lot of cool stuff coming up, so you're not gonna miss it. And uh, yeah, other than that, we will see you in the next video. Bye.